Oh, hey, we're starting today off at Joanne. I have brought my suit with me. We're gonna customize this suit for our live show, which we're doing later today. And uh, it just needs a little sprucing up. So we're gonna start today with that, and then we're gonna go to a Goodwill across the street. So stick around. Fight! Here is what we're here for, the buttons. And there's a, there's a deal going on, buy three, get two free, which means we're getting this bag. And we almost need two of them anyways, just to have enough of one size, which means if we buy one more, we get two more free. We're about to be swimming in buttons. How do you feel about that? We'll have a lot of buttons. <laughs> All right, Hannah, show us the treasures. We've show us what we got. Got buttons. Bags and bags and bags of buttons with an extra special one. You ready for a peek? Boop. <laughs> let's cross the street to this Goodwill. It looks like this Goodwill has remodeled since the last time we were here. Now let's go buy something way too big to put in our smart car. Challenge accepted. Walk in the door, look at these paper listings to show what they've got. The last story and Persona 3. It looks like they've got this one at its list price and it looks like they've got this one at about half, so I might buy that. Anything good over here? Not really. I compiled them all together. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look through a couple of these. But listen, there's two seventy, eighty dollar games over there for thirty bucks each. I kind of feel like I should probably get them. Where are you thinking? It's gonna cost a little bit, but they're like killer games. Killer kind of stuff that Dan and Lisa has on their shelves. Ooh, you want? Actually, one of my favorite movies. didn't we just watch this on the streaming service? Oh no! It's one yeah, of our favorite did. films. Ooh, did you see this? Oh. <laughs> Crap. Oh. Mario Kart and Super Mario Bros. I mean, they're priced up a little bit. Ooh. Super Mario Galaxy 2. I, I think I know somebody that really wants that, so. You better make sure this book here isn't game. It is not. All right, so game-wise, Double Saints Row. Let's go look at these. Spy Hunter for Xbox. No thanks. One of my favorite games of all time. Okay, in the bag toy section, trying to find some dolls because that's what I do. There's quite a few of them here. There's also a yokai watch, a bunch of discs. Pretty cool. There are a bunch of dolls, but I don't see any brass dolls. And chantinels. Put that up here, out of my way. Alrighty. None today, that's okay. Kind of a bummer, but all three of these discs are just scratched to hell and back. I mean, they're bad. Mm. We could get them refinished and stuff, but they're not gonna quite be worth that time. And they're six, seven, six bucks. You know what? I think I might take a chance on this one because I got a buddy that wants a copy, but I'm not gonna mess with these two. Kind of a bummer, especially since I probably have cases for them, but it looks like somebody stood on them and scooted them across the concrete. Ooh, I got really excited. There's a bunch of roller skates here, the roller blades here, but there's no roller skates. I kind of want some roller skates, not roller blades. They are really tempting though. They're so retro looking. These are like straight 90s roller, roller blades. They look like they might fit me, but need roller skates. Bunch of cute stuff in the dish section today. Nothing I'm finding that I like absolutely need. Hmm. A milk glass, cream and sugar. These are cute. I just like those. They don't sell for a lot. Kind of cute. 
expensive though. Let's see. Some ferret shampoo. That's what it says. Tear free. All right, let's talk about these games that I just bought real quick. And more specifically, let's talk about looking up the prices of video games because I don't really describe my methods of doing so very often. So that leaves a lot of people who aren't quite video game people but might be resellers. It leaves those people kind of wondering exactly what's what. Because uh, things can get really confusing sometimes when it comes to pricing video games. So when you saw me look at the paper printouts they had on the countertop at the Goodwill, um, they, they had the prices written on there. So 30 for Persona 3 and uh, last story at 34.29 were the prices listed there. And so I, I immediately, what I did was I typed in Persona 3. Okay, and it comes up, I click on it, and it says that the price is $27.42. So it looks like they saw something very similar and priced it that way. But I said, hey, let me take a look at these games when you get a second. And the girl said, okay. She went to the back and got the games. And then I went to my barcode scanner. This app is called CLZ Games. And I scan it, and it comes up at $63.59, which is why you got to get your hands on these games sometimes. I don't know if your Goodwills do this where they just post pictures instead of the items being in the lockboxes. Not very many Goodwills here in town do that. Two or three I can think of and that's it. But that's why I knew I had to look at them. I had to make sure it wasn't something else. Because uh, I actually pictured this one being a little bit different, but then I was surprised what Persona 3 was. So uh, it looks like they looked this up and priced it with uh, just, I don't know if they used eBay. I don't know what they're using at Goodwill. But they kind of got that one a little bit wrong. Uh, and then this one here, the last story, it's price $34.29 and I scanned it in the store and bada boom, it came up as $67.27. So I was like, well, I, I just wish I knew what they were using the price. But this just brings up an important point if you're trying to resell games. Now, mind you, I'm keeping these, but this is just kind of a thought on checking prices. Um, you've really got to do a little bit more research sometimes than you think you do for a couple reasons. One, it's just complicated, so it deserves more research, but two, Price charting and game values are so volatile right now. I know a lot of times people will see me use this app, CLZ Games, and, and sometimes people will complain they think the prices are too high or it's too inaccurate. And these can be, these that, that can be valid reasoning because let's just, just to compare, we'll go look at eBay now. And what I'm basically gonna do is scan both of them on eBay the exact same way. So we can start with the last story. And I really don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, but the first thing that comes up, the last story, limited edition box set, CIB, 100 bucks. So this is not a box set. This is uh, on its own. And then here's another special copy. So here's the copy we have. $76 it's been bid up to, just like this. So, you know, how does that compare? 67 So obviously, it might be going for a little bit right now on eBay. Or maybe not obviously. Maybe that's not the word. Uh, but we can also look at what it's been sold for on eBay. If I turn the sold filter on, it sold for $100 just like this. Nope, sealed for $100. And then $60 it's bid up to. So it looks like price charting has that one about right. And that's good to know. Um, but you can also see how here how there are these different editions. Uh, who knows what consoles they're for sometimes. But there are different editions, box sets, et cetera, et cetera. And when looking up prices, you never know if your price charting apps are giving you the prices for boxes. Well, sometimes you'll know. Sometimes it'll be clear, but a lot of times you'll find when you're scanning with your price charting app, CLZ Games, Game Eye, some of those other free ones, sometimes it won't have any idea what's going on. So you'll have to look them up on eBay sometimes. But we'll do the same thing here with uh, Persona 3, scan it. So it comes up immediately for 149 that looks sealed. I think, no, that was not sealed. So right now listed 150, uh, listed for 200, sealed, it's listed for 200 sealed. So that'll give you some sort of idea, but let's go do the same thing and look at this, uh, the sold listings, Persona 3 box set. So here it is, you gotta check sometimes because yeah, that one's sealed. This one sold for 169 sealed. Looks like maybe that's sealed too, sold for 150 sealed. 
Uh, I'm trying to find one that looks just like what I have here. $49 it sold without the game case inside of it and game, or just the game case. Sold 150 sealed, 139. It's kind of crazy how many sealed copies are on here. Okay, here's one, sold exactly what I have here for 100 bucks. So this is where it gets complicated, right? Is it just worth a hundred bucks or what did, what did the app say? Is it just worth 63 bucks because price charting says, or are you in one of these day to day, sometime week to week moments where because the supply and demand on eBay specifically is higher or lower, you might just sell something if you list it right now for, it looks like we could sell this probably for 40, $50 more if we list it today on eBay because the supply and demand is different than it might be a week from now. Um, I know what I'm saying is going to make a lot of sense to some of you who already do gaming stuff a lot, but if you're watching and you kind of watch us buy games and think about reselling them sometimes, this is the kind of due diligence you have to do to sell them. You really do. Um, because it's so volatile right now, kind of because of COVID, but kind of because uh, it just, it's gaming uh, like this is increasing in popularity, so you just don't know. You just gotta you gotta get on eBay you gotta get some price charting apps and you gotta kind of compare and contrast before you list and I hope that doesn't overwhelm any of you because it can be a little bit overwhelming uh, if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about a lot of what I just said could be nonsense but this is how much you, looking up things you got to do to sell some video games and how did you feel about this haul well it fits in the smart card just fine <laughs> we got that part right uh, I'm pretty happy about grabbing these I was gonna pay, if even if these were the prices, 34 and 29, if they were worth that, I was still gonna pay that for them because I like finding games at thrift stores and these are both games I definitely wanna add to my collection. Uh, and more so, I've been behind the scenes kind of filming some game reviews for Rubber Duck Yellow or other channel, link in the description. So these were kind of prime candidates for that kind of thing as well. So double whammy picking those up, but uh, I'm happy. We don't even have to do any more thrifting, I'm done. Yay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We've got buttons and so on, so stick around. We are standing outside of Walmart because, as I've said, we're doing our live show. And I'm so dumb. Today's Easter. We figured this out because we just went to a store and they're opening late because it's Easter. We're like, oh my God, it's Easter. So since we're doing our live show, like obviously we should be doing something Easter themed. So I thought at the very least I could try Peeps for the first time on our live show. Uh, but we probably are gonna end up having a hard time finding them because I bet we're gonna go to Walmart and they're gonna already be clearing off the Easter shelves, but hopefully we can get some Peeps. I, I caused myself this trouble. I just, we don't have normal nine to five jobs. That's not how we make our income and therefore I never know what day of the week it is, much less what holiday it is. But before we go in, I've got a sticker I wanna throw on the smart car real quick. I've had this sticker on all of my vehicles and it's gonna look real good on this black, on this black car. But the question is, Hannah, where do I put it? Because um. normally I do window and that's still all right. But if we do that when it's convertible mode, I think I'm gonna do it. Which side, that side? Mm, yeah. Well, I've got lines here to line it up, so I'm probably gonna do that. Queen. That's good enough, right? Sure. <laughs> Better than it was. All right, let's do boom power. Oh yeah. Now you guys, I've said many times on the channel what this cheat code is, but I know there's a bunch of new people here. So take a close look. Comment below if you know what it is. It is uh, kind of hilarious when you consider that this cheat code is on a smart car, but it is what it is. Ooh, I lost the center of my R. Oh, I lost both of them. You know what, let's go back. We can do this. Ooh, I lost all three of them. I'm bad at this. I don't even see the other one, do you? It's probably on the blue paper. Oh, I got one. Oh yeah. You think it's on the blue paper? Yep, it's right there. You called it. Here, your fingernails, you get it on there. And I'll smooth the rest of this out. It's your new nickname, Hannah Fingernails Bob. I need to trim my fingernails. 
past me on the right day. Ooh. Ooh. Don't drop you, it. You gonna be able to get it in there? I wouldn't with my sausage fingers. I'm about to have a crooked R. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I nailed it. You did. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky high five. Now let's go see if we can find some peeps. There's literally nothing. Just wiped out. The upfront areas where Easter time stuff goes, just empty. I did find a Peeps Marshmallow Lemonade mix, complete with two Peeps inside. What'd you find? Marshmallow Chicks Rabbits. <laughs> Off brand Peeps. Oh baby, Key Lime. I'm gonna get a few of these. I'll get two of them. Kit Kat's my favorite candy bar. And then I love all the weird flavors that are coming out now. No Peeps here? No? None? Stopping at Bookman's gonna trade some stuff in i've got a bunch of gaming bags that have just been collecting dust and i got a playstation 2 gonna trade both in see how much money we can get uh what now i have a new crafting endeavor crafting with cat hair ew <laughs> you can make a cat thing you puppet it shows you how <laughs> show them that yellow receipt is that the only one we have in here yeah the other one's in the house that okay beeper mcbeepin um those yellow receipts are awesome we've got a stack of them at home right now it's like i don't know i think we're past a couple hundred few hundred bucks which means we're gonna have to go do a major video game buying spree i part of me really wants to save it up till it's like a thousand hello and then when it's up to like a thousand go do a video where it's like a thousand dollars worth of video games or something crazy i don't know though because honestly there's already like two three hundred dollars worth of games there i wouldn't mind getting uh but the way it works is there's how many you counted them up yesterday there's like five of those stores in arizona five yes. or six something like that and uh, i'd love to go hit them all in one or two days because there's one a couple hours north a few a couple hours east a couple here in town um and this one's where we go do most of our trading in it's closest to the house so you know we stop by here every couple days and drop off some uh, uh leftover stuff from our antique malls or whatever i've got like a box of controllers i need to drop by here uh but i don't know what would be better comment below huge video game haul where we just spend a thousand dollars at once on like every game and every store we want or like i don't know maybe some sort of series we use the money to fund something else i don't know you got any ideas mm, nope none <laughs> all right we'll comment below <laughs> All right, we're going live in like 20 minutes or so. Hannah has put yellow buttons all over my black suit. Let me get it on and I'll show it to you. Pretty happy about it. The disappointing part is that I do not have a yellow tie. Just, I only buy my dress clothes at the thrift store. Personal choice, yellow tie hasn't shown up. Oh baby, look at that though. Just look at it gonna turn my collar down oh this is even better you guys are gonna love this look at that look at those big yellow buttons that's awesome closer look closer look I need a lint roller I just had to shoo our cat off of my black suit um, I don't know if I'm gonna draw any attention to it while on the live show we'll just see if we get close enough anyone notices sleeve buttons Hannah's Hannah's idea high five for that one Funny enough though, no ducks on that side. I'm even, I like it. It's like, a, it's like an Easter egg, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but we are gonna go live and I wanted to say about our live show, I've been talking about it on regular videos just because you, know, you gotta promote it a little bit, you gotta get people to come by. What do I do with my tie? Can you hear me that? It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to explain exactly what the point of our live shows are. I really want it to be a nice, bookend at the end of every week worth of thrifting uh i want to go live and talk about the stuff that we bought it's kind of the idea so in the end i want our live shows to basically be like a podcast about trash i want to you know like right now when we go live hannah's going to talk a little bit about her brat stalls and we're going to have a conversation with the audience about how she is going to organize them and display them and stuff so it's very much like a collector's 
uh, kind of thing. I mean, we'll get into reselling topics from time to time. Uh, not always, but I do want that to be an ongoing theme. I want you guys to come back for our live show every week and expect some sort of discussion about stuff, about trash. It's the Trash Podcast. I just karate chopped my duck. I apologize. I apologize, Howard. He sits right there in the back of every live show. I'm so mad I don't have a yellow tie. What a terrible, what a terrible missed opportunity. I do have one more addition for the suit, though, so hold on. I always wear a pin of the week on the live shows, too. I have two, two options here. Pikachu, just to match the yellow. I like that all right. It's really the only cool yellow one I have. I kind of have an Iron Man one, but he's, you know, a little off yellow. Look at this tiny little pineapple. That's kind of too small, ain't it? And I need help. I have hard decisions to make. Oh, no. Actually, I may not. I can't get this pin to penetrate. Which pin do you think? Ooh. Teeny little pineapple? <laughs> or super gargantuan Pikachu? Um, both. You think? Why not? Pikachu with the pineapple? Yeah, he's hungry. Well, you're gonna have to go get me another one of these. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, Hannah says both, so I guess that's what we'll do. But come join us for our live show every Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you have any questions about anything we buy during the week, or any sort of reselling, collecting thing we do, and you've got a question and you can't get it in, answered on our Discord or in the comments, uh, perfect time to come by the live show and talk about said items, because that's kind of what we want to make it about. I mean, we're always going to do extra shenanigans. Like last week, we ate some cereals. This week, I'm actually trying Peeps for the first time. We won't always do food stuff, but obviously I like food. Pikachu with the pineapple, though. Pikachu with the pineapple. All right. We literally go live in like five, so I got to turn you guys off, and uh, we're going to do that. Also, I should probably do something with this hair. And I need a lint roller. Boop. All right. All right, little pineapple. Don't fall off. I like it a lot. Welcome to the Tindo Show. Drugs are bad, but toys are good. We're about to blast off. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Tindo Show. I, of course, am Tindo. This is the lovely Hannah. And on today's episode, we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot. Well, how are you, how are you gonna do this? We're What's both your method? The whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing. Oh God. Okay. All right. You ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Mm. That's awful. Oh, <laughs> stuff. Um, Joe is pointing out someone has asked about a Shrek Bratz doll. Do there you know about this? There is a Shrek and have a you... Spider-Man Bratz doll. Why don't we have them? They are so rare. <laughs> oh. I wrote my... <laughs> is that your initials? It's my, The other shoe says HC, and then this one says DC because this is um, Hannah D. Chloe's shoes. So I wrote my name on all of my shoes. Wow, so you had a better <laughs> filing system when you were 12 than you do now. Did. You keep these in sandwich bags under your bed now. <laughs> I'm so you had these bad boys initialed and ready to go. I'm trash! <laughs> I didn't know that. That's the best thing I've heard all day. I did. Uh all right, we did our live show. It went well, and I hope you'll come back. Sunday for the next one. Uh, we did a lot of talking, as I kind of said we would, about collecting and uh, you know, just all this stuff here about us. And uh, can't wait. I, every time we do that live show, I can't wait until the next one. Because if nothing else, I love talking about this stuff that we bring home. I agree. I mean, we collect all the stuff because we really like it. And what's better than talking about the stuff you like? Yeah. So I, <laughs> I, I can't wait to find better ways to get into a rhythm of thrifting and making these daily videos every day and then putting a big button on it at the end of the week I, I i know i've already said that's the point but like i'm saying i can't wait to get better at it because you know maybe at the end of this week's videos we'll talk about uh some of the games we brought home if it's a really great week for game halls our live show on sunday is probably gonna be about games you know yeah. you've uh, you've acquired a lot of brats stuff this week I we did. talked about a lot of brats on today's live show but i just wanted to talk about these games one more time for the we in this video because 
It was a good find. I, you know, I used to hate even having to pay half price because I essentially paid half price for both of these. That that used to kind of bug me, but I'm getting to the point where I have all the shovelware, I have all the nonsense. So there's just some games I'm gonna have to pony up for. So at least I can be thankful that I only had to pay about half price. Well, even less really. This, these you could almost make an argument both of these uh, for are going for a little bit more than double than what I paid for them. But um, high five, good day, good week. Uh, you guys definitely come back tomorrow because we do post videos every day on this channel. We're like, I don't know, 600 some videos. I lost count. Uh, but come back tomorrow and see what we get into then. Hopefully it's the bins. I don't know. I'm planning on going to the bins tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. No promises. All right. Anything to say before we get out of here? Uh, stay awesome. Stay awesome. Subscribe. Help us get to 15,000 subs. Subscribe for good video games. Uh, come back tomorrow. And until then, peace out.